Hello, my name is Justin, and this is fairy tale number two, the town mouse and the country mouse. Johnny Town Mouse put his paws in his pockets and whistled to the wind as he sauntered down the country lane. At last, he came to a little door in the hedge half covered with ivy, and knocked. Surprise, he called, as Pippin, his country cousin, unlatched the door. I've come to stay. Then it's time for a feast, cried Pippin. He gathered up nuts and berries, cups of dew, and pieces of honeycomb, laid out, on a rush grass plate. Johnny Town Mouse put his nose in the air. Oh dear, he sneered. He flicked away a berry with his paw. This isn't my idea of a feast. And where am I to sleep? He pointed at Pippin's mossy mattress. Not there. That is where I sleep. Pippin began. No, 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 that won't do, Johnny Town Mouse declared. I think I've had enough of your country life. Let's go to town and live like kings. The mice ran to the station and scampered on board a train. It pulled away with a jolt and a blast, rattling over the tracks. Pippin gazed out of the window. He watched as tall trees turned to houses. He sniffed smoke and sausages on the air. We're here, we're here, cried Johnny Town Mouse. They ran across the station, dodging between stamping feet. So many people! thought Pippin, his heart pounding with fear. They ran down dirty pavements, past belching house, belching buses, and vrooming cars, until they came to a towering townhouse. Impressed? asked Johnny Town Mouse, casually pointing his paw. Very, nodded Pippin. Now, said Johnny, I'll show you a feast. He led Pippin to the dining room and a table groaning with food. Pippin's eyes grew rounder and rounder. And they began to eat ice cream and pie, chocolate and cheese, huge slices of cake toppled with raspberry cream. Pippin clutched his tummy and shut his eyes. How wonderful, he sighed, to live like this always. You think? purred a voice in his ear. Oh no, cried Johnny Town Mouse. It's the cat. The mice ran this way and that. After them pounced the hungry cat. Quick, called Johnny Town Mouse into this hole. Oh, my paws and whiskers, said Pippin, sinking to the floor. Please take me home. Back to the station they ran, dancing in and out of rushing feet, and Pippin dashed onto the train. He looked out of the window and waved to his cousin. Goodbye, goodbye. Johnny Town Mouse ran beside the train. Stay with me, he called. Pippin just shook his head. The train chugged away, leaving City behind. Finally, in the starry dark, Pippin reached his hedge. All was quiet, all was calm. He sniffed the cold, sweet air and smiled. Better nuts and berries in peace 
than cake and cream and fear, thought Pippin. This is the life for me. The end. Thank you very much, and bye-bye.